What are your thoughts on esoteric clubs slash secret societies in modernity? And my reply, following the 1848 writing of the Communist Manifesto, on into the lifetime of Aleister Crowley, 1875 to 1947, and perhaps even as recently as the fall of Sovietism from 1991, it seemed highly likely the next big thing in the Western esoteric mystery tradition would be a worldwide union called a bund meant to create for all the various sects and secret societies a kind of communist internationale or unified body of leadership something perhaps similar to the united nations only for occultists this plot of course has fizzled out and instead we have been given the internet as a global public forum where all the secrets of all past secret societies become not just public knowledge, but fodder for populist discourse, an outcome many among the progenitors of the Bund concept would have found incomprehensibly odious, including Adam Weishaupt himself. Weishaupt, 1748 to 1830, wanted his Illuminati order to infiltrate Freemasonry, which he rightly considered was, at the time, the closest thing to an international bond for occultists and so-called magicians to meet one another and discuss metaphysics. The order of the Illuminati was contrary to the chaos of the hellfire clubs of the era. <clears throat> Although from exile in Gotha, Weishaupt did leave Weishaupt did live long enough to see the foundation of the United Grand Lodge of England in London in 1813, marking a nominal end to the Masonic schism between the ancients and moderns of the area. But even today, Freemasonry remains far from being completely unified and farther still from being an effective bond combining multiple differing clubs and groups in fact many freemasons today remain staunchly of the opinion that anything like an initiatory group that is not specifically chartered to practice the ugle's emulation ritual is strictly clandestine freemasonry although not all freemasons maintain this conservative outlook and many Freemasons are also members of other secret societies for studying the occult esoteric mystery tradition. The formation of a working bund today is much like the problem of putting together pieces in a puzzle, the finished picture of which keeps changing. Getting the administrative membership of the modern OTO and York Rite Freemasonry to even recognize one another let alone agree on a shared constitution of members' rights, etc., as implied by a bond, is almost impossible to imagine now. Nevertheless, that was the impetus for my putting forward the Egyptian masonry degrees, Atlantean democracy, and the Pythagorean order of death material in general. <clears throat> 